about seven months ago, I had a dream. Really, like I really had a dream about this, this event. And I, I dreamt about bringing hundreds of aspiring entrepreneurs together in one room uh, where they could learn from experts and get real information. Uh, also in this dream, everybody left their egos at the door. They uh, talked openly about their fears and their challenges. And they talked about what was causing them not to grow. You know, all of us should dream. If we're not dreaming, we should dream. We should dream about our future. And I tell folks that, you know, I wake up every day and I pinch myself that I get to do this work. Um, and some folks said, have you always wanted to be mayor? I don't think anybody wakes up and says we want to be mayor. Uh, <laughs> but I can tell you that I've had a wonderful journey. And it actually started out with a master's degree in business administration from Morgan State University. And then I, I started out as a banker went on to uh, work for the Council for Business Opportunities to help African Americans and other minorities to start and expand their own businesses. But small business absolutely is the backbone of our society. The key is how do you stay in business? Because most businesses who start up don't end up staying in business. And it is a road. And I can tell you, having started a couple of businesses and failed in some, that um, I realize that it is a pathway and that you must, you, you got to stick to it every single day. You have to know what it is you're trying to accomplish. You have to have goals and you have to try to, to meet them. But the biggest hurdle for most businesses is obtaining capital. One of the reasons that I always encourage people to buy a home is because it is a way of building equity. And for most folks, it is a way to begin to start their own business, to go out and speak to 400 African Americans who sit on Fortune 500 companies in Laguna Beach about four years ago. And they, the question they asked me was, Catherine, what would you have us do? I said, do as I do. When you sit on the board of a company or corporation, when you are the president of a company or corporation, you have a right responsibility to ask, where is the inclusion? Where is the diversity? The opportunity to go in business is really up to you. The ability to stay in business is also up to you. It doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter what you have, it matters what tenacity and commitment you have to doing business. And so I just wanted to present this certificate to you just for the initiative of doing this and more importantly of following through on your own dream. And this is on behalf of the city of Baltimore. Thank you. It's just a budget. I mean, really, it's, it, it's like a budget with your line items and how you make money. Think about it like that. But then take it a step further and, th and use it as, to tell a story. So and here's what I mean, because we use cash flow statements to tell a story. So really simple, a cash flow statement, if you look at it, on the top, it's got, let's say, five or six lines of revenue. Okay? So these are how I make money. I make, like, okay, my, my business, I get money from government contractors. I get money from nonprofit companies, or nonprofit organizations. I get money from growing companies. I do speaking engagements. I build websites. Blah, 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 blah. That's how we get money. You said IP versus fee. Mm -hmm. What's that mean? So when I'm talking about IP, I mean, um, we're talking about patents, right? OK. So if you're building a new type of social media app, there's probably, there's probably nothing there you can patent, right? Okay. Um, generally speaking. Very tough to get a patent for a lot of software things, right? The way you can present to an investor to show that you're doing better than the rest of the market is how fast you're growing. So if you show me that in the last four months you went from zero users to 50,000. I'm just astonished at not only the caliber of the event, but the people that are here, the exchange, the networking, the talking, the information, and people are really willing to tell you where to find the money. So I want to say hats off to Will Holmes and his team for putting together such a great event. Money Baltimore, and it's just a powerful event. The networking is powerful, the information is powerful, and we're just here to collaborate and cooperate. I have to say I am loving this program already, and we just had the introduction. It has been really inspiring. Will, if you hear this, thank you, thank you, thank you for putting this together. Hey, this is Will Holmes here at Money Baltimore. Let's hear what the crowd has to say. Yeah!